Uh, the governor of Uttarakhand, uh, Kiran Bedi, you heard that. He says that what happened was just nature in red, in tooth and claw. But that's all he can say. Because Isn't he's, he right? He's absolutely wrong. Because if he admits negligence, then he can be criminally liable for these thousands of deaths. Because it's been a total failure of administrative and political leadership. They were expected to have had a plan. You, you need to have a pilgrimage plan. The state doesn't even have a standard operating procedure, to the best of my knowledge. As people, as bureaucrats have been saying off record, they don't have a standard operating procedure to handle these pilgrimages, which is their main source of revenue of tourism, through tourism, to the state. So no prior coordination of all responding agencies were there. The army, the police, the paramilitary, the, um, the disaster management, the health, the volunteers, the temple managers. I, if a right to information uh, application is filed and to ask, give us the minutes, what did you do prior coordination? Because but, there was no prevention. Hang on, but you can have the best laid plans in the world. But if you get a monsoons like they were getting and you're getting huge boulders that are coming down the river and destroying any town and village in their wake, the best plan you've got isn't going to save people's lives. All right, then where's the mitigation plan? You can have these heavy rains, that's not the first time, but where is a laid down mitigation plan in anticipation of heavy rains they didn't even have? What they brought in later, that is a plan which actually should be in place every year. So therefore, where were the, lawn, where were the um, emergency health camps? Something like which they're putting in later, which should be the order. Whether it rains or it doesn't, does not matter. You have to bring in all stakeholders together to be a hub. When I said administrative failure, the chief secretary of the state becomes administratively criminally liable. I've been saying this from day one as a former police officer. Secondly, political failure because he's the one who's a major coordinator. And do you know what? Further the failure goes <coughs> up because the prime minister of my country, prime, prime minister of my country is the chairman of the national disaster management, which too was to be playing a major coordinating co role. I just, yeah, I mean, there was a famous quote from Indira Gandhi saying that environment is a luxury India can't afford. Because in other words, saying <clears throat> economic development has to come first in your country. And therefore, environmental concerns where places are built are secondary to that. And that's why accidents happen. Perfect. Then why do you have an environment ministry? Why do you have environment departments? Why do you have environment studies then wind it up saying that's a luxury we can't. If you're going to do away with the expertise and overlook the expert, expert advice which is abundantly av available. Even technology was available, it wasn't put in place. So there was something called no nothing called <coughs> foresight planning at all. That's called preparation. Uh, but y you say that. Maybe there wasn't the money to put in place that sort of thing. Where's the money coming from now? So is the money only available for disaster? Why can't be money there for preparation and prevention? Because preventative is very expensive. No, it, on the contrary, it's a disaster which is going to be expensive because all those thousands of lives have gone. It's where you value lives. Ask that one life which is gone. They've, got, gone, they've lost livelihood and families. Uh, I said in my introduction that you were a social activist. I mean, presumably, a disaster like this is very good for your political campaigning. I'm into no political campaigning. I'm into non-political campaigning. For me, India, I, I'm a non-political social activist. I'm not politically aligned, and nor will I be politically aligned. I'm India aligned. I speak up for causes, whether they are left, right or centre, it doesn't matter. And do you believe that the, the failures that you describe are a question of bureaucratic bungling or corruption? Well, when corruption overtakes, there has to be no bureaucratic performance because the whole intention and priority becomes different. It's only when you're missionary and when you're professional that all these environment and preparation of plans and you becoming a hub of coordination takes place. But when co co uh, corruption takes over, then your priorities change. How can you have a prevention plan? Why would you bring people together? It's better to leave them aside. Though nobody asks you any question. That's when corruption actually totally hurts and most of all, the poor. Kieran Bailey, very good to talk to you. Fascinating to hear your views. Thank you very much indeed uh, for being with us here on Global.